When it comes to laptops, portability, power, connectivity, and design don't usually go hand in hand and usually have to give up one or more for the other. And that brings us to today's laptop, the MSI Stealth 16 Studio. And although this is primarily targeted towards content creators, the Stealth Studio 16 has enough power to also be a gaming machine. It can be configured with up to a 13th gen i9 processor and an RTX 4070. And despite being very thin, the laptop also offers a good selection of ports and connectivity. You have Thunderbolt 4, a full-size HDMI, Wi-Fi 6E, and Bluetooth 5.2. And so the Stealth 16 Studio positions itself as a great choice not just for content creators or gamers, but it's also a great choice for anyone who wants a powerful and portable laptop that doesn't compromise connectivity or screen size. You can get the Stealth 16 in two colors, pure white or star blue. And new for this year's model, we have this beautiful Stealth logo printed on this mirror-like material on the back that definitely makes the laptop look much more premium. You've got a very durable chassis here that's built from a magnesium aluminum alloy. Despite this, it's still lightweight and very thin. The laptop weighs just under two kilograms and is less than 20 millimeters thick. And of course, no premium MSI laptop would be complete without its selection of RGB lighting. The 16 Studio features SteelSeries RGB keyboard lighting. And within its app, there are several presets for different color effects, or you can completely customize your own. The trackpad is very large, taking up nearly the entire bottom area below the keyboard deck. It's smooth, responsive, and precise. The 16 Studio also boasts one of the most impressive speaker setups for a laptop of this size. It utilizes a six speaker surround sound setup. Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sessionoff's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. And although it's above average for this category, you're still probably going to want to grab your headphones once those fans kick in. On the left side of the laptop, we have a full-size HDMI port and a Type-C Thunderbolt connection, as well as a micro SD card reader. On the right side, we have two USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A ports. We also have a 3.5 millimeter audio jack and a DC jack for our power. Having a full-size HDMI port on a laptop this thin is definitely great to see. That said, most creators would have also appreciated a full-size SD card reader instead of the micro SD one found. The Stealth 16 also supports PD, which stands for Power Delivery Charging which supports a quick charging rate of 20 volts at 5 amps. And although a 100 watt charger isn't going to completely substitute your real charger, it's great when you need a more portable solution and you're not using it for heavy GPU or CPU tasks on the go. But something that's more unique is that the Stealth 16 features an MUX switch. This allows you to manually switch between the dedicated GPU or the integrated graphics. And this can be great for users who want more control over their laptop's performance or power consumption. And as is the theme with the Stealth 16 Studio, it strikes a great balance between portability and performance. At under 20 millimeters thick, it's hard to imagine anything thinner given the amount of performance it packs in. But importantly, it doesn't compromise on cooling. Using a shared heat pipe design between the GPU and CPU, it allows it to be more efficient with its cooling. And when you flip the laptop over, you can see that nearly half of its bottom panel is vented. And in contrast to the Razer Blade 17, which we recently reviewed, you can see that it only has vents directly above its fans. We can also see that the MSI has taller raised feet, which should allow for more cool air to be sucked in from the bottom for better airflow. Hot air is then exhausted from the rear of the laptop, which also is blown upwards against the panel. Of course, after extended periods of heavy use, the laptop can still get hot to the touch, especially around its function keys where the heat is actually being exhausted from. We also noticed a good amount of warmth around our trackpad area as well as the WASD keys. 
And so if you're using this for gaming, it's definitely gonna be noticeable after extended sessions. And just as with MSI's other laptop lineups, the Stealth 16 Studio has made the switch to the golden aspect ratio, the 16 by 10. The display is available in two different variants, an Ultra HD with 120 Hz refresh rate or a QHD with a 240 Hz refresh rate. Both are IPS panels with 100% DCI-P3 coverage. The 4K is best suited for creative work, while the second with the higher refresh rate is going to be the better choice for gamers. Our review model came with a QHD 240Hz display, which we think most users will prefer. You'll notice that the bezels are thinnest on its left and right side. There's a slightly larger plastic bottom that features the MSI logo. MSI has also added a slight lip to its top bezel, and that houses the IR Full HD webcam. Contrasting the rest of its bezels, this portion has a smooth plastic finish, which looks good. For indoor use, the display gets plenty bright, and it has very deep blacks and vibrant colors. And so whether you're gaming or watching content, everything looks great on screen. The webcam records at full HD 30 frames per second. It's not necessarily impressive, but it is above average for this category. We notice that it's not particularly sharp, nor does it have the best contrast, though it does handle low light environments and adjust its exposure automatically when faces are detected. Importantly though, located above the webcam, there's a physical shutter that can be manually closed for additional security. Now speaking of security, the MSI Stealth 16 Studio offers several options to give users peace of mind. The laptop includes a fingerprint reader that allows users to authenticate their identity with just a touch. With Windows Hello, users can conveniently and securely log into the laptop either using facial recognition or their fingerprint. As we move into our benchmarks, it's important to keep in mind that this is an engineering sample. Potential hardware or software changes might impact the final results with the production models. Compared to previous gen hardware, MSI says that we can expect up to 30% better performance for the CPU and up to a 50% boost with the GPU. To give you an idea as to how well the MSI Stealth 16 performs, we have a number of comparable laptops as well as one desktop by the MSI Aegis RS. With Cinebench R23, we can see that the MSI Stealth 16 Studio has the highest multi-core performance score, followed by the MSI Creator Z16P. Looking at the data though, it's clear that when the MSI Stealth 16 is unplugged, there's a significant decrease in its multi-core score. We see a 51% drop, and although it's common for these power-hungry laptops to see a significant decrease in performance when unplugged, the drop seen with the MSI Stealth 16 is still surprising and the largest one yet. Of course, this possibility could be due to our review unit being a pre-production model. PC Mark 10 is a benchmark that tells you how well your laptop performs for web browsing, productivity, and digital content creation. Based on these scores, we can see that the MSI Stealth 16 Studio isn't far off from the more powerful and power-hungry desktop MSI Aegis RS. And more recently, we've begun to run the Puget DaVinci Resolve benchmark, which can help us assess how well a machine runs for video editing. Just as before, the Aegis RS is the highest performer with a score of 1630, followed very closely by the MSI Stealth 16 at 1520. With these results, it's impressive to see how close the performance of the Stealth 16 Studio is to a full desktop with high performance components, including the i7-12700KF, as well as the RTX 3070. Moving on to Firestrike and TimeSpy, which give us a measure of the performance for gaming and graphical rendering. Interestingly, we see that the Razer Blade 17 takes a jump to the top. The MSI Stealth 16 Studio manages to hold second place, though do notice how its GPU score trails quite a bit behind. Again, this is another area where software or driver updates might help our results. We also ran some benchmarks for some popular games. All these tests are at 2K with max setting presets applied. At Atomic Heart, we see about 60 to 67 frames per second on average. With Batman Arkham Knight, we see a minimum of 143, an average of 205, and a max of 274 frames per second. With Overwatch 2, we usually got between 100 to 130 frames per second on average, and this depended on the map and how much action was happening on screen. MSI claims that the Stealth 16 Studio has a battery life of up to 8 hours. It features a 99.9 .9 watt hour battery, which is the maximum allowed for air travel. With a mix of web browsing, watching videos, and performing light productivity tasks, the battery was able to last approximately six to six and a half hours on a single charge with our screen brightness set at 
And while you are able to extend the battery life beyond seven hours, you'll need to reduce the screen brightness even more and limit the amount of CPU and GPU intensive tasks performed on the laptop. And so with that, the Stealth 16 Studio is a beautiful, powerful, and portable machine that looks to impress. With its latest 13th gen Intel processors, NVIDIA RTX graphics, and the MUX switch, it provides excellent performance for both creators and gamers. Of course, its premium design and features do come with that high price tag. It makes it a more expensive option compared to MSI's more budget-friendly Raider or Crosshair lineups. That said, for users who want power, portability, and design, the MSI Stealth 16 Studio is an excellent choice. So thank you again for checking out this review. This has been Paul with MakeUseOf.com. Let us know your thoughts on the Stealth 16 Studio in the comments down below. And until the next one, we'll catch you later.